Hello everyone, welcome back to another video on the channel and this, oh man, first off, I played the Spongebob Battle for Bikini Bottom game on my channel years ago through an emulator and finally it is 2021, about a year after this came out as a remaster and I am finally, finally playing it. I've had it for so long, I've tried recording it back when it first came out. And at the time, I just wasn't ready to start making videos and other content yet because, you know, I was stuck with Fortnite stuff for a while, so I didn't really have much of an option. But now, now I've taken things into my own hands and I am finally playing this game and it's so amazing. So basically, what I got to do here is I got to get shiny objects because shiny objects are important for Mr. Krabs. He wants me to get enough shiny objects to pay him so access the area this this is your health yes underwear is your health weird huh um all right so how do i get up can i climb can i not climb i don't think i can climb oh you know what i can jump on this there we go oh there's some over here even can I unlock this? No, I can't. I forgot what I can do and what I can't do in this game. It's been a while. It's been like uh, three some odd years since I played this on my channel last. So I got a lot of work to do. But uh, wow, it's nostalgic to be able to play this game again because... Oh, comic books. Speaking of comics, I just started working on something for one. We've got the jumps. But, but. I did not want to do that, but okay. How do I... What's the button to do the, 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 the uppercut? Hold on, it'll tell me here probably. Press E when on the ground and he'll do a bubble bash attack. Okay. So it's E. It's a lot faster than it used to be. You! I need you! For this! Alright. So, now... Got to hit this. No! I don't care about watching it for like 30 seconds. Gah. Can I move while I'm doing this? No, I can't. Okay. So, here's what I'm going to do. <gasps> you can do that at the same time. Oh. Oh, that's actually very helpful. I was never usually able to do that. How do I... Oh. Oh. Oh, that's so cool. Okay. Okay. So, here's what I'm going to do. I know that I need to get up there for a sock, I believe. So what I'm gonna do is move this over here, hit that, push it over in this direction. Oh, uh, there we go. This is it. This is what I needed. Oh, I did it. Glad to have this back. Yeah. Whoa. I got Patrick's sock. You'll see what I need those for in a little bit here. So, <laughs> honestly, I, I, I just I can't believe. I'm finally playing this again. Like, literally, this is one of my favorite games that I played as a kid. And to see this just in fully remastered glory is, is awesome. It's awesome. It's not low poly anymore. A note from Mr. Krabs. And it even smells sweaty, just like him. Oh. Ahoy there, SpongeBob. As a faithful crew member of the Krusty Krab, you've been, er, uh, promoted to head shiny object collector. Wow! A promotion! That's right! A promotion! So what this here new job entails is you collecting all these shiny objects that the robots are leaving behind and bringing them to me. Now stop seahorsing around and get busy collecting. So that's why we need the shiny objects. We got to give them back to him and he's in turn going to give us some golden spatulas. For example, number one we just got here in Spongebob's closet. Why did he have one in his closet? I don't know. Why does he have a closet if he just has the same amount of pants and literally uses this space for nothing else except those in a box? Well, I don't know. That's something we'll have to figure out later on. So, uh, yeah, that's that. And I believe they have a new map. Oh, this never existed before. Wow, that's cool. I didn't know that they had that. Okay. All right, so now we're out here. I don't believe anyone's going to greet us. It's just a cutscene. Uh, your own neighbor. Oh, oh it's blanking. Bob, you're polluting my thinking space. Trying to steal the Krabby Patty formula again, eh, Plankton? 
Well, you won't get away with it. I've got bigger fish to fry. I've got to figure out how to regain control of the chum bucket from those robots. Where did they come from? Where? Um... <laughs> Not for me, though, that's for sure. They just showed up out of nowhere and started calling me rude names and throwing things. Fun fact, because you they guys didn't... bent all my oh. spoons. I love those spoons like they were my children. That's terrible. Oh, won't you help me stop them? Before they bent all my forks? Not the forks! Of course I'll help. But wait, I'm supposed to collect a whole lot of golden spatulas. Golden spatulas, eh? SpongeBob, if you could get me back into the chum bucket, I'll give you a bucket full of golden spatulas in your dreams. You've got a deal. Well, he wasn't lying. I mean, you'll understand in the later part why he said in your dreams because, well, there is a dream level. <laughs> it shines. And he technically wasn't lying either. So, th as you can see here, we got different types of tiki's. Um, I've destroyed a couple of them already. Well, I already know what you, that, you're just telling me how to use bubble powers. It's all right. I already know this. So, yeah, there's flying tiki's, and then there's these guys. How do I? Is it okay? So it's shift. So these guys, you have to sneak up on them to be able to hit them. So the the quiet tiki's, you do that. There's basic tiki's over here. They they literally do nothing. They can be destroyed very easily. And then there's the ones over here that float. Normally you'd have to use the ability for, but some of them you can just jump and hit them. And then uh, there was one of them here, two of them actually, where you walk into them. They're called Thunder Tiki's, and they blow up when you are in the vicinity of them. And then the Hardened Stone Tiki's, they basically just, well, yeah, they're just Tiki's that can't be destroyed unless you blow them up with Thunder Tiki's, so... All right, so Mr. Krabs here wants our shiny objects, so I guess we'll talk to him. Bob, this flapping robot crisis is making the Krusty Krab lose money like a sinking ship. Nope. Oh, no skipped it. Fry cooking? But because you're gullible, I'm going to help you out. <laughs> and of course, make a small profit in return. I've got a few golden spatulas that I'll be willing to trade to you for some of those shiny objects. All right, so yeah, like I said, trade in shiny objects, you get golden spatulas. And I think there's about 10 of them. And the same goes for this guy. Patrick. Hey, Patrick. Nice talk. <laughs> oh, I remember the memes that stemmed from this. Oh, you'll understand if you've seen him. So? If not, I'm not explaining it. <laughs> oh, that one. It's lost. Well, if that one's lost, where are your other socks? Well, they're more lost. A bunch of robots came through here and stole my whole sock collection. I could use some help getting them back. Sure thing, Patrick. What are best friends for? Okay, then. For every ten socks you bring back to me, I'll give you a golden turkey baster. You mean spatula? Bless you. <laughs> so, yeah. As Patrick just said here, this is another one of those things, like with Mr. Krabs, except in collecting socks. So every, is it five or ten socks that you get for Patrick, you can, why am I able to climb this? For every five to ten socks you get for Patrick, you can trade them in for golden spatulas. I just broke the barrier. What is this? What have I done? Oh my god, hold on a second. I gotta fast travel again. There is fast travel in this game, so I, that's good. I didn't have to close out of it, but wow. I guess that's a thing. So I'll just break these again. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, okay, the, the range on that. And if I'm not mistaken here, I have to go into everyone's house. So first off, we're going to go into Patrick's house because it's closer. So let's go in here. See what we got in here. Ah, how lovely. A friend keeping a photo of your other friend. Wah wah. Tiki's. Good wah. Now, for those of you that were in here, you're like, oh, shiny objects. That was it. Nope. He lost a sock on his couch. Hey, you. Patrick needs to do laundry. He does. But Patrick is very forgetful. So it's possible that he may never do it. All right. So let's do this. What was the button here? It was right click. Alright. 
So there's a thing here. It does that. And then there's this one here. All I have to do is jump and press that. So that's what we got to do. We got to get up here on Patrick's roof. We got to climb up to the top on these platforms. Take me up faster. Oh yeah, also golden underwear. That is a thing you can get in this game and it gives you extra health. I'm a new sponge. I have a new golden spatula. I am safe. So yeah, that was another spatula location. Um, golden underwear gives you a extra health point. So right now I've got four instead of the three I started with. Now let's go into Squidward's house. Those stupid robots ruined a perfectly relaxing mud bath this morning. And now you show up. Can my day get any more dreary? Yes. I am so sorry, Squidward. Patrick and I were just playing a game and... Oh, I correct myself. I should have known that whole robot problem involved both of you. In fact, it wasn't. Uh, you guys missed the cutscene at the beginning because I had to skip it to get my game to actually show up. But... It was Plankton's doing. He just, he made the robots and they rebelled against him and threw him out of his own chum bucket. Squidward, I don't know what to do. How can I fix everything? But Patrick and SpongeBob were playing with robot toys and wish they were real at the same exact time, so they think it's their problem. Why don't you move to another town? That should help out more than enough. <laughs> <laughs> move to another town. I, I cracked me up. <laughs> I didn't know Squidward had a lamp. What? Okay, I didn't so know Squidward had a lamp. that's weird. So basically, what happens here? He, um, <laughs> Squidward was gonna say like, "Oh, why don't you just stand there and act pretty or whatever?" So we just have to destroy his house and get him to stop. You know. Okay, okay, okay. Just stop jumping, will you? If you take this golden spatula, will you please go away? See, Squidward, I knew that you could help me out. You're the best. Don't touch me. <laughs> so there's that. Spatula number three. But we're not done. I'm going to trash his house a little more, because I think, if I'm not mistaken, wasn't there something I could get in here? Like a one of Patrick's socks or something? Yeah, okay. He did have a sock in here. Another find for Patrick. How, did, how did Patrick get in Squidward's house? Better yet, how did I get in Squidward's house? Doesn't Squidward lock his door? I'm so confused. Why is he not locking his door? <laughs> All right. Time to go into Jellyfish Fields. This is the first level that we can access, where we meet Squidward yet again. The rolling green hills of Jellyfish Fields. Wow. A place to experience nature at its most raw, and sometimes a bit tender from the stings. This is just beautiful. They did a really good job with the remaster. <laughs> oh, just sting me. Ow! <laughs> so, we've got our robot types. Squidward, are you okay? No, I'm not okay, you barnacle head. Do I look like I'm okay? Well, your nose does look pretty big. I mean, bigger than usual because it's usually pretty big. And you look clammy. And oh my gosh, you're bald! What the hell is that face? I've always been bald, but now I'm stung all over. Well, according to the Jellyfisher Field Manual, severe jellyfish stings can be treated effectively by applying a thick layer of king jellyfish jelly to the affected areas. <laughs> King j -j -j jellyfish. Well, I guess you're off the scale, Sport Mountain, and die a horrible death under the vicious tentacles of King Jellyfish. <laughs> I'll stay here, balled up here in excruciating pain. You do that. Don't worry, Squidward. I'll bring back that King Jellyfish jelly for you to rub all over yourself. Alright, so that's that. Um, that's basically the main plot point about story, uh, the, yeah. The main plot point about Jellyfish Fields is the fact that Squidward needs King Jellyfish Jelly so that he can get rid of the stings and make himself feel better. And all for a golden spatula, but there's a lot of extra side objectives we can do to get some as well. Get out of here. 
So, we are introduced to two different enemy types. One being jellyfish. They can hurt you, so I like to get rid of them as early as I possibly can. And in this case, you're going to be seeing me collect a lot of these shiny objects because the more shiny objects I can get early on, the better for other. Alright. Don't break that, Tiki. <coughs> Alright, so this is our second enemy type, the fodders. They, oh, he almost stung me. So those are the weakest kind of robot. They are they're one hit. Some robots won't be in the future. Oh my god. Ugh. Ugh. Okay, so I got that one, got that one. Cool. I have 700 shiny objects. See, they don't expect you to collect them all that much at the beginning of the game, so the fact that I have 700 just proves that I have played this game before. <laughs> Spongebob Battle for Bikini Bottom is something I have played before. However, I never played the remaster. And that's that, that's another thing, too, that kind of ties into what I did with Spyro. I mean, Spyro Reignited Trilogy, I never played it. I, I never sat down and played it like I wanted to. But now, I had that opportunity. So that's, that's the whole point of New Year New Game, why I did it. And that's going to be the continuation of... The rest of New Year New Game this year is I'm just going to be continually playing games that I have never played before. And it's going to kind of lead into... I kind of want to explain too while I'm in this video what my plans are for that said project. Because like, I'm literally going to be doing any content I can after New Year New Game. Like, New Year New Game was two set games every month that I was going to do and... Nothing other than that, besides like maybe weekly things for Fortnite or whatever. But after that, I'll do anything, anytime. I don't have to have to wait to do specific games during a specific month anymore. I'm just gonna keep on going. So I hope you guys are intrigued for what's coming. Especially, well, actually, now that I think of it, this video, I'm recording this like early July. So, literally, you guys are going to be seeing this video after I've already played it. But I plan on buying the new Omno game and playing that when it comes out. Ah, big old cannon! Big old cannon boy! Bruh, oof, I just barely got hit. Okay. So this is our next objective, bungee jumping. We saw it when I was down there earlier. Okay. What is happening here? We got it. Give me them tiki's. Platforms. Lots of platforms. Fodder. Even more platforms. Golden shiny objects and more platforms and a checkpoint. Now here's our next enemy type. I'll let the cutscene play through. Alright. So this is our next enemy type. His name is Hammer. Get it? Because he's... Hammer but made out of ham. And occasionally, Spongebob will say, ham mer ha I get it. Because, like, it's, yeah. <laughs> I wanted that. You. You. Tikis. I need the large amount of tikis. Oh, yeah, another enemy type. These guys are electric blue jellyfish. Break the tiki. I got it. <laughs> Oh God! Up. Break! Break! Brip! And then a fodder and a hammer. Brip. I, hmm. I guess I can do this. I. What? I'm. Hmm. Okay. 
Yeah, I'm just not gonna do that anymore. <laughs> okay. Yeah, we're just gonna ignore that area. So, this is what I was trying to do. I wanted to get over there because I know that there's stuff over there I need. But the game's just like, hey, barriers, you know, why not? Well, that's why! Because there was a collision box on the... Nah, ha, 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 I understand now, but take me where I need to go! We Okay. So now we're back where we need to be, rather than where I could have been. Like also, another thing. Cardboard boxes! As you can see, they are teleport locations. So you open one in one area, you open it in another, and then you can teleport to areas that would normally take a long time to get to. Which is nice. I, I really like that feature in this game. And these are Duplicatatrons. They pump out robots like crazy. You can keep getting shiny objects from them, but they are not... They're not helpful to progress. <laughs> you need to destroy them to progress. Mermaid Man! Right? Wow! Mermaid Man! I have all your comics and toys and mail! All of his mail? Hey, huh? What? Oh, yeah, it's that sponge kid! Now, what was I supposed to tell you? That Patrick is surrounded by robots and needs my help! Uh -huh. Oh, no! I think it had something to do with massaging my feet. Well, if massaging your feet will save Patrick, then massage I must. Help! They're making me hit myself! <laughs> massaging your feet isn't working. I think I'd better try a more direct approach. By clipping my toenails? Here I come, Patrick! <laughs> so, yeah. And another thing I like is the fact that they kept all the same voice actors from the original game uh, in this remaster. So that's that's really nice. No more recasting to try to figure out who can voice who. Especially when the person who voiced and played Barnacle Boy in the TV show and everything is actually dead now. He unfortunately passed away, I think, just a little after. Or a little bef- it might have been a little before this game actually released to the public. So, I don't think they actually got his voice, um, from any other means, but I'm not sure about that. I'll have to do research, but it sucks. It sucks to know that there's people in this game that unfortunately have passed away, and it's gonna be pretty nostalgic hearing their voice again, and, uh, you know, it's... Something that I really miss about my childhood is the fact that almost everybody I used to watch now, like, suddenly all these people are suddenly passing away. I mean, I can't believe it. It's crazy. But that's not the point of what we're getting at in this video. I'm ranting. So I've destroyed some Duplicatatrons. They have helped me progress. I think you might hear my bird in the background, too. Hey, SpongeBob! Well, of course, SpongeBob. Why wouldn't I be? Well, the robots and the... Oh, yeah, I found this for you. I don't know what it is, but it looks important. Thanks, Patrick. I tell you what, all that running around has left me pooped. Why don't you continue on for a bit? Okay. And this is where we officially start playing as Patrick. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. SpongeBob never took his spatula, so I'm going to take it instead and just, you know, take it wherever Patrick was originally going to take it. So you can throw fruit with this guy. As a matter of fact, this stuff is literally called throw fruit. Ouch! Oh, oh you're, there's, there's a random dude here. Hi. Taking my daily stroll, walking down the road. Alright. Toss this at you, cause shiny object galore. The fruit is growing back, nice and smoothly. Throw it in that location, cause you can't jump with throw fruit for some reason. Throw it in that location, and then throw it at the button. And then take this here, and toss! Well, that was a failure. Take this here, and throw it on the end. I don't know why I did that. Alright. Thunderfruit. Th Thunderfruit. Wow. Thunder Tiki. You can pick them up and throw them. That is until they explode. Why did I do that? Plankton. Hey, you barnacle head. Watch where you're going. What is 
is talking to me. <laughs> I am at your command. Down here, you big pink lummox. Oh, hi there, Mr. Plankton. Are you going to vaporize me today? So very tempting. Unfortunately, I found myself in the undesirable position of having to assist you. I was in an undesirable position yesterday, and now my neck hurts. Heed my <laughs> words, my large future minion. Go into Jellyfish Cave. Follow the instructions on the signs that you see. At the end of the caves, you'll still be a big pink idiot, but you'll know enough to help defeat the robots and get me back into the chum bucket. Well, then will you vaporize me? I might spare your <laughs> life so I can force you to work in my sweatshop, making low-quality design and knock-off wallets. Oh, thank you! Uh, how lovely. Plankton threatening Patrick, and Patrick doesn't even realize it, and he's like, Oh, I really like that idea. I what this time. Presses button, door opens, immediately says afterwards, I wonder what this does. Alright. You. Boom. You. Button number one. Recycling. Button number two. Shark. Oh, I didn't think... Okay, I thought that... Yeah, I'm an idiot. Why are you putting them on? <laughs> Stop it. Clean as a whistle. Clean as a whistle. Oh my. Can you, like, not? Thank you. Throw fruit, number 2002. Or should I say 2003? Because that's when this game originally came out. And you toss that there, and the gate opens. Whoop. Then for this, you toss that here, then you can step on it and climb up. And then for this, you throw that on top of this one. You step on it and you climb up. That is if you can do it right. And for this one, you toss that over there, and you pick this one up, you toss that over here. On top of this one, you jump up and you climb up, and there you go, you got a cardboard box. That was way too much talking in a set time frame for me. Ah! That's much better. Break them. Oh. I not like that. This one goes boom. Play as a whistle. Alright. Now this is the next type of throw fruit. Except it's not throw fruit. It's ice. Which can be used to freeze all water in the vicinity. Which I use to get a sock. Brr. Fodders. But I'm not going to destroy them yet. Besides that one. Because... I didn't want them to be remade by the Duplicatatron. Uh, oh, actually, I was supposed to do this. Toss. No. Uh. Alright, and then jump. Smack. Get that quick. There we go. So that cancels out the uh, attack animation of the Duplicatatron when you hit the Golden Spatula. So that's what I always do to make sure I don't get hit there. Alright, we're done with Spelunking with Patrick. Now we've got oh, one more there. thing to do. Squidward tells me you're looking for the King Jellyfish. Yes. Good thing, too. That monster has been stinging all my good customers in their poop decks. I hear that you can find him up top of Old Sport Mountain here. Go hook that beast, sailor! Oh boy, Mr. Krabs. I'll see what I can do. Alrighty. So now... We got, oh, okay. Third enemy type. Tartar. So this is the first enemy that will, on occasion, and depending on character, take multiple hits. I don't think he takes more than one hit for Patrick. Well, maybe he does. Okay, never mind. So 
I know that Sandy, when we play as her eventually, she doesn't have... She doesn't have to hit him twice. Because you can lasso the enemies. <laughs> Goodbye, jellyfish. Now that's another thing too that I'm just realizing that was uh, not in the game with the original. You couldn't jump and attack with Patrick. Hello, Patrick. I've got a job for you to do. Oh boy! I found a golden spatula, but those robots out on the island stole it and threw it into the lake. If you can figure out how to get it back, you're welcome to it. Show sure enough, Mrs. Puff. Show sure enough, Mrs. Puff. All right. So duplicated drones and machines are going to be spawning more robots. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to smack you down. Toss you over there. And then smack. Toss. That's much better. Smack. And toss. And then smack and toss. And... Okay, that didn't work. Smack. Toss, and that should drain the lake. And that also, I believe, got rid of the duplicated Tron. Yeah, there's no more duplicated Tron. Okay, so that's it. We got another spatula. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Give me that underwear. Well, late as a whistle. Can you sneak as Patrick? No, you can't. Okay. So this is something, you can't destroy these tiki's unless you throw something at them. And you can't destroy these guys with the ground slam. Or, you, you can't pick them up with the ground slam. The smaller ones cannot be picked up because of, well, just the fact that they're so weak. But these guys, on the other hand... That is if I don't slam him with my butt. <laughs> You're supposed to be able to pick those guys up too, I believe. There you go. Oh, actually, no, you can't pick him up. Never mind. Alright, gotta get the underwear quick. Health. Alright, now this guy. Rip. Rip. Okay, so I can't do this yet because that's another one of SpongeBob's upcoming powers. Uh, he's eventually gonna have like a homing missile that you can use. So that's something I'll have to wait for eventually. Got that. Destroyed. The stone tiki's can only be destroyed by the thunder tiki's, so I have to do that. And of course do this. Or well that. Or better yet, you know what, just do this. Cool. There you go. Oh my god, I got 5,000 shiny objects. <laughs> it only wants 150. See, that's the perks of knowing how to play this game. Is the fact that you can get up to 5,000 shiny objects on just the first level. Like, literally, just collect. Keep on collecting. Do as much as you can. You'll basically be there. But, for the sake of this video, so it doesn't go on too long, I am just going to continue on and get the necessary objectives rather than just keep on farming out shiny objects. So, kill a couple hammers on the way, destroy the Duplicatatron. And then come on over here. Might as well touch that so that it blows up the other stuff. Fall. I don't think that eliminated him. Unless it did. I don't know if it eliminated him at all. That's another thing too. You can use the freeze ability here. Um, I don't necessarily know where to use it yet. So I'm not going to. The breadstick. I always called that the breadstick because it looks like one. And then tilt this one down. Now I'm up here for the shiny objects mainly. But now we gotta switch characters. So let's swap to Spongebob. Alright. So now it's telling us here that we can wall jump. That is another ability that Spongebob already has built in. Yeet, yeet, yeet. There we go. We did it. Wall jump. Commenced. And then one, two. Uh, I was trying. One, 
to. Give me the spatula. What, who, who are you? Why are you? What? Did you just dab? He just dabbed. <laughs> All right. So this should be the end of Jellyfish Fields. We have to go up and oh, defeat God, King Jellyfish. Trying to help out today. Step quietly there. That King Jellyfish is just up at the top of this path. Good luck. You'll need it. Thanks, Bubble Buddy. All right. So the first boss of this game like is King Jellyfish, who is also on the first level. But he's also the weakest boss out of them all. You can fly? Why haven't you done that before? I'd be mad if someone came in and watched you shower too. Whoa! Whoa! That is far different from what I remembered. I mean, he still has the blast, but like... That's a large blast. There we go. Slap him again. That was a slap? I didn't think it was a slap. I thought it was more of like a, a smack in the face with a wooden stick. Hey, I'm killing your friends. Now, do a blast ability. You're weak. Finishing slap. It's not a slap, it's a... Like I said, it's a smack in the face with a stick. That noise. I never got used to that. Oh god, okay. I was paying attention to the blue jellyfish and not the big guy. Got him! <laughs> so, I guess we slapped some sense into him and he's like, Ah, I'm sorry. I know you came into my bathroom and all and all that stuff, but, you know, I shouldn't have hurt you. I'm gonna go to work. <laughs> I don't get it either. We got the purple one. The ultra combo. I remember this being a thing. I guess I went out of bounds? Weird. I don't remember this being an out-of-bounds place I could go to originally, but I guess it is. Woo! Woo! I did it! <laughs> I think I just skipped the entire course. Alright, well... Oh, I didn't get the teleport box at the top. Oh, that sucks. Alright. Well, let's go give this back to Squidward, and uh, that'll be it for this video. Squidward, guess what? I got your stuff. Oh, yeah. Oh, that feels so much better. Anything for my best friend Squidward. Can I rub some on? Uh, what if I just gave you this? That'll work. Because honestly, SpongeBob, I don't know if you want to do that. It's kind of creepy. Yeah, that's it for this video. We managed to get through Jellyfish Fields, and uh, we started off the rehydrated playthrough. So, I hope you guys enjoyed watching, and I will see you all in the next video. Peace.